Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Sekiro, and we're at the uh, dilapidated temple, and what we're going to do is use the Father Bell, and you do it right here at this Buddha statue, just like we did the first time we uh, got a bell, and we're going back to Harata Estates, but it's going to be a little bit different this time around. Harata Estate. So we're going to run up into here, and uh, yeah... Just so you know, we gotta fight this dude. You're supposed to be dead. Ow! Fuck me! What the fuck ever? Alright, what the fuck? I'm just gonna die. Fuck it. As you can see, he summons wolves. Uh, if you stay aggressive on him, you can prevent him from using his whistle. Whatever. Alright, I'm... I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well at all. I did not mean to resurrect. Fuck me. Alright, good. I'm gonna die this time, hopefully. Yeah, permanent death. That's what I want. Oh my god, why am I doing so bad? Let's try it again. Fuck you, dude! not worth it all right let's try this again like I don't fucking understand Stay on his ass. I don't know how he didn't uh, hit me there, but uh, whatever. Fuck. 
Fuck you! No, you don't! What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god, I gotta get rid of that fucking Ichimanji double. Stop with your... No! No whistle for you, bitch! Adam got Adam and a man type scrap off of him and a prayer bead so if you stick on his ass he won't be able to get off his uh... Uh oh get up top quick he won't be able to get off his little whistle to call his wolves so there's a couple really big dudes down there uh, you kinda don't want to take them both on at the same time because one's got a shield uh, one thing I am going to do real quick is put on... Where are you? Spear. Put on that spear. We'll need it for an enemy up ahead. You can see there's a big dude. We want to get this big dude. And we got that death blow. Go ahead and pick up Fulminate or Fulminated Mercury. Very nice. It's a super hard uh, upgrade to get. We may be able to take this guy on straight up. And we got him. Rip his throat out, son. And we have an idol. Go ahead and grab that idol. We're going to go ahead and rest on up. And you can go straight through. I don't recommend it. I recommend going around. Stabby stab. All right. We want to change our ninjutsu to puppeteer. And right here, this guy. Whoa, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Alright, this is not working. What the fuck?
it says right here loaded thrust spear and least reach far reach attack blah 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 suck spear but drag in middle can also tear poorly well, that's what we had on wasn't it not All right, I fuck it. I don't know. I couldn't get it to work. I don't understand why it didn't work, but it did not work. This game is just fucking me in the ass today. All right, what we want to do real quick is. Uh, gotchin sugar. I think that's what we want. Gotchin sugar. So if you use gotchin, we got a snake, a snake. We're basically invisible to these guys, and there's three of them. Sneaky snake up to this guy. Puppeteer Ninjutsu his ass. Whoa! Fuck that! Let them duke it out. Looks like one of them may have died, or maybe not. I thought that one guy didn't see me, but apparently he did. Let's see if they get back up top, or if they're just going to patrol down bottom. Nope, they got back up. If they reset, that's perfect. We can just use another Gachin Sugar. I want to actually go to here. Where are you at? We've got the uh, Gachin Spirit Fall, but I don't want to use our Spirit Emblems just yet. We've got a ton of these Gachin Sugars, so I wouldn't worry about using them right here. So we'll sneak up behind this guy, give him a good killing. If we had to take those guys on, like, straight up, that would have been awful. Dude, what the fuck? Turn around, big dog. He'll turn around eventually. There he goes. And you did. You had it. Had a man type scrap. Oh, uh, I don't suppose it matters which one we kill first. But of course, the guy with the axe was a good choice. Woo! And we get the Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Very nice. And of course, this is the air where you could have gone straight across. The reason I said it was a bad idea is because you would have got ambushed by the guys on the roof and it had been a nightmare and a terrible, terrible time. I mean, if you're looking for a challenge, go for it. I don't remember if there's anything in here or not. I don't think there is. Yeah, I think it's just empty this time around. We got all the items the first time through. Yeah, definitely. So now, we're going to squim on through this way. And just like last time at Harada Estates, there is a drunkard over there. Uh, but there's also uh, one of the kicky flip guys, but with the poison hands that we fought at uh, Ashina Castle. Yep. 
You gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. You do not shoot me with a bow. This guy, he's just looking to have a good time. He's just drunk. Suck up all the goodie bags. Like coin purse and Ashina Sake. All right. Let's see if we can work this out. We got one guy here. Let's actually put on our little finger whistle thing. Where are you at? Finger, finger. The mountain echo, that's what we want. Just back off a little bit. He's going to come to us, and we'll just take his ass out real quick. Hopefully before those two guys spot us. Hurry up, dude. Taking forever. So we took care of him. Don't know if we... Ooh, we can eavesdrop. I forgot. So from that dialogue, you realize the whole Horata estate takeover was definitely Owl's doing. Which we, it's not surprising at this point in the game since we had to kill Owl to be able to get here anyway. Uh, the reason I'm coming over here is hopefully to sneak my way up to this guy. And call him with the ow, with the finger. Hopefully he'll come over. Yep, got him. So this is the last guy that we have to take out. And I'm hoping to get a sneak attack on... Uh, oh, what's his face? Not the drunkard, but the other one. The poison hand? I can't remember what they're called. Come on, big dog. Alright, we're going to use one more gotching sugar. I honestly don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. You can actually use the got gotching spirit fall, it doesn't matter. But let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. And use our ninjutsu. That didn't work. Oh, shit! Well, he came out of nowhere. We're gonna back the fuck up. Oh, dear God. We may die. I don't wanna die. That did not work out. Uh, antidote. 
Ooh, with a sliver of health left. So Juzo the drunkard has come out to play, or has gone away. Are you gonna do anything? No, are you glitching out on me? And he's dead. Okay. So the good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, we didn't get the puppeteer ninjutsu off. So, it's unfortunate, but, you know, it'll, it'll work. We just have to get one sneaky sneak attack on him. And to just work his ass down to get the second death blow. So death blow number one. Didn't block that one. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Get the heal on. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Hey, we got the second death blow. No problem. And we got another prayer bead. And we leveled up. Yay. And we'll grab this item here, Fistful of Ash, and we got this item here, an adamantite scrap, which is good, another upgrade item for our shinobi tools. I think that's everything, uh, at least in the outer regions. Yep, that looks like everything. And you want to come in and immediately go to the left. There is one item right here. Gokan Sugar. We got Spear Bro. Stab him in the back. Item right here. Fulminated Mercury. Another upgrade item for our Shinobi tools. I'm going to go ahead and activate this idol just in case I screw up. Don't want to have to like fight all the way back to this point just to get the idol. And last but not least, Spear Bro 2. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa! 
Alright, fuck you, Spear Bro. Oh my god. I'm getting. This is fucking stupid. It shouldn't be this hard. Let's get a couple of McCurry counters off. That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Fuck you. Alright. So now, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, there's one item right here. Sorry. Pellet. And now, we can rest. And with the time, we're going to call that an episode. In the next episode, we will wrap up Hirata Estates with the final boss of this area. And it's going to be a really, really tough one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.